Alright, all right. Uh, Shalom, before we start, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakha Kodash, the to the apostles, and Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the Lord Akim, walk with them, learning, teaching, and truth, and sincerity. Right, and this is going to be a, a, another uh, exhortation video, right? because I was uh, in through the Spirit, uh, Yahweh, uh, uh, Yirah, all right, the Lord provides always and for us every single day because while I was at work, I was fucking breaking my brain for some topics today for when I got off and the spirit uh, gave them to me. All right, I happened to come across this uh, song that I had to listen to in a minute, but, you know, and it, and it hit me. But basically, you know, we, we have to wait. Right now, we're waiting on the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right, and in doing so, you know, like the scriptures say, possess your patience, uh, patience, all right, well to him that is a uh, lost faith, that's in a uh, Sirach. But, you know, this a uh, thing that I got to thinking, in which I did a video similar to it not too long ago, but what we're waiting, waiting on right now, we've been waiting on, Lord willing, if we're the elect in the one third, we've been waiting on this for thousands of years. We've been waiting, we've been waiting on the revealing of our Lord to this entire world for thousands of years now. So why would you give up in the last couple of, Lord, how Lord knows how much, maybe months, maybe a year or so. Lord willing, it'd be quicker. You know, we've been worried. We literally, from the beginning of time, since the days of Adam and Eve, all right, since the days of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, since the days of Moses, been waiting on the days right now. So why would you quit in the, at the last stretch of the race? Why quit when the finish line is in sight? Prophecies are kicking off every day. We just had some damn. There are some floods in uh, in Ishmael land, all right. Wars and rumors of wars. The mark of the beast is out there. If you if you go, it's, hey, I'm just gonna get the scriptures. You can get that on Matthew. Huh? Okay, this is the book of Matthew, Saint Matthew, chapter thirteen and verse sixteen. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Kind of concerning the truth. All right, we understand the truth and we can see it. All right, keep going. Uh, verse 17. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which you see. Though to see those things which ye see. Kind of. And this is a... Uh, oh, so you can finish it off the same one. Okay. And have not seen them. And to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. Kind of. This is twofold. This was directed at the... Uh, disciples was going to become the apostles uh, back then because they got to be with Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, and this is directed with us now. It's a, and to fuck up uh, what's their names, them Adam Abat niggas, they didn't get to see the mark of the beast back then. We get to see what the mark of the beast is right now. All right, we get to see the confusion of faces. We get to see of uh, the different lands we ended up in, of how we're speaking a different language from what was originally ours, and how we would wake back up the. Spirit was at Ezekiel chapters at 37. The uh, uh, tribe bones, Khan, all come back together. The sinews bone to his bone. We're living in the times that other prophets prophesied about and died before they got to see it. We're living in the times that have been that the elect have been dreaming about for thousands of years. What was it when they said, uh, Acts chapter it was Acts chapter 1? Uh, they said, Well, they said to you, How shall will, will you restore unto us uh, the kingdom of Israel? All right, that's that's what it's talking about when it says that's what they desired. This is the time that they desire. So why would you quit when you get to the end? Why would you quit? You let's say you're running. You it's a uh, it's a hundred meter uh, dash, or I'll uh, short it. It's a forty meter dash. You got five meters left. You clearly in, in front first place. You got good good full energy. Motherfuckers in the crowd cheering you on. You looking fresh. You, you strong, you good, and you just, oh, you know what, man, and you just stop. What sense does that make, all right, to you fallouts? How, how can you, oh, man, I, I'm going to give this a couple more months, man. I don't see shit happening. We've been saying the same thing for years. We ain't got a new brother in the camp. You can't be in that spirit, man. Every single day that passes, shit is getting more intense. The nations are, the nations are, it's really about to be World War Three. We going to look up on our phones one day while we had our punk ass job or wake up out of sleep take, or taking a damn shit on the toilet 
and you're gonna get a notification. This is not this is not a drill. This is not a test. So and so has uh, just landed in uh, so and so country. All right, you know however it's gonna go. Terrorist attack just happened here. That's literally the times that we're living in. There's more on it. That's it. Or you or you had that axe. Yeah, Con, Con, you can get that. Con. Okay, Con. This is the book of Acts, chapter one, and verse six. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Con, so that's they. Then they were in the proper spirit. Hey, uh, uh, hasten his coming, as the elder uh, Kazak's uh, channel is. They were hastening to come to the Lord. They said, "Okay, shit." According to Scripture, he didn't die. He didn't. Uh, he didn't rose back up. Well, shit. This must be saving time, and it just wasn't that time yet. And now the apostles, in which the the and we we know the apostles are back here today. That's why whoever they be, our beings, naming no names, they going so hard now because they know the Lord is near, just like how he was back then. It's so much more closer now. The time I, I, I keep saying it, but I can't stress it enough because it's all that I was thinking about for a minute at work. How can you, for the past 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, since the days of Egypt, thousands of years ago, the time that we're living in right now, we've been reading about, dreaming about, praying about, fucking going to war about, dying over. And we're living in those days. And you want to you wanna quit? You want to leave? It doesn't make any sense. That's like you win the damn millionaire lotto. And right when you sign in your name on the check, you're like, no, what? Uh, you know, uh, uh. And you just get up and leave. Okay, move. And make space for us. Shit, you got it. Uh, whatever you want to get on. So. Okay, um, <clears throat> Khan, um, this is the book of um, Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus and the Apocrypha. And it reads, uh, Sirach 39 and verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High Yahweh, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. And, you know, I, I brought that up because, you know, like the brother said, we, we are living in those times. We're actually seeing these prophecies come to pass. We're actually seeing the RFID yeah microchip being implemented man it could be tomorrow it could be six months from now it could be a year from now but we it's here man okay. you know and we're we're constantly meditating on these scriptures man from the time that the lord wake us up you know and put the breath of life in our lungs to the even all, when we're asleep all right and this and the shit is getting real you know for a back letter um, for a lack of better term man things are getting real man all right Kind of when you look at uh, just real quick, when you look at the uh, uh, the book of uh, Daniel chapter twelve, he didn't get to see uh, the archangel Michael. Uh, oh no, wait, no, my, yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, he didn't get to see the Mar archangel Michael stand up back then. That's gonna happen now. And uh, in the end, of Zechariah fourteen, he didn't get to see people burnt with the fire, the nuclear fire that's literally gonna melt people to pieces. But that's gonna happen. John the Revelator didn't get to see. Well, he saw everything in the visions, but he didn't get to physically live out the times that he was seeing. Edris, he was saying, what was me? What was me? What's going to happen to me in those days? He wasn't there yet, but he here now. So what would it look like for Edris to make all that? I'm just saying hypothetically, what would it look like for Edris to make all that complaining thousands of years ago? And then now he like, oh, you know what, Lord, I just want to be a two three. It don't make no sense. That's why we maintain your faith is the point of this video. Keep your patience. We're, we are, we're, we have the edge of this bitch, man. The only things that I, only things you really should be stressing on is making sure you paying your bills so you got a place to damn stay. But if you worrying that prophecy is not coming or this ain't the truth or the Lord taking too long, you in the incomplete and wrong spirit. That's, not, that's the wrong thoughts to be going through your head. Oh, the market, man, oh, we ain't even see. Where the market to be? That's not the spirit to be in at all. You got to use about to get some. Oh, kind. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2. And I'm going to start at verse 2, point being in verse 3. Okay. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run to that read of it. Verse 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. 
but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry in kind. We're seeing it coming to pass every day. You know, the brother just brought out something that I seen. Uh, another I can post it about the uh, desert being flooded mm -hmm. with water. Man, you would never. I never. I didn't know. Think that. that. Yeah. You know, but that's strange <laughs> things. Cut. You know, these prophecies are coming to pass, man. You know, it's not no joke. It's not no game. All right, shit about to get tight. We all about to be tested. Like the brother said, man, this is where our faith is at, man. You know, we got to pray to the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, that he put the spirit on us to endure to the end because it's not going to be of ourselves. You know, we got to pray that the Lord put that spirit over us and keep it over us. Because you had the, it just came to mind, one of the examples, a lot of people that went back into the world after the 2000 prophecy, all right, which was, uh, like it tells you in Luke, where they show, uh, uh, what is that, wish to see the day of the Lord, all right, people like that, they're after 2000 hit and there was no destruction, there was no excuse to go back into the world. Is Esau still, just, is Esau still not the so-called white man? Is he not the devil no more? Are we not the Israelites? Are we too, we too close to the end? So those people that that went back into the world, and I'm just using them right now. You know, let's the the ones that uh, ain't gonna get it. All right, let's let's say the let's say this society collapsed tomorrow. All they had to do was hold it down for 18 years. That's a that's that's child support years. <laughs> hey, they gonna hold out so they can finally be off their child support. But you can hold out 18 years for the Lord. Kind of. All right, we're. You know, it's it's not it's not gonna look good. It's not gonna look good good at all. And I just got uh, I just got this real quick. First Peter uh, chapter one verse eight it says uh, I'm gonna start at seven, it's a lot. It says I'm gonna start at six. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold, that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. So when our Lord returns, all this suffering, all the tears, all the pain and sorrow, it's all going to transform into joy and praise. Alright, verse 8. Whom having not seen, ye love, and whom though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with an unspeakable you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. And verse 10 being the main point. Uh, but all that right there, you know, that's going to be the benefits. That's going to be the rewards for holding down. All right, but verse 10. Of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who praised, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. All right, so the times that we're in now... Like it tells you, uh, let me just get this in Second Edris, all right? Because uh, Edris, he was he was hastening past uh, the Lord's time, all right? He had, what was the question? The angel was asking a woman uh, give birth to all of her children at uh, one time, all right? It has to it has to happen according to time, all right? So what the this is the the every day we wake up. This is what the prophets were inquiring of. This is the days that. Uh, Isaiah wished it was so he could hurry up and get the kingdom. These are the days that King David wished it was. Huh. What was that? Psalms 137 uh, uh, and 9. Happy shall he be that dashed thy little ones to the stones. We haven't got to do that to Esau yet. The book of Obadiah. Did Obadiah get to see Esau get destroyed as a whole nation? No. But we're about to see it. So hold the fuck on. Hang tough. Like they like the surface be saying. Hang 10. Hold it, hold it down. We about to get the fuck out of here, man. Just maintaining your daily life. That's the main shit that I be stressing over the daily life. Okay, I need gas for my car. Got to do this. Got to help the brother with this. But if you over, if you in a corner somewhere, man, these prophecies ain't, man. I'd have been better off, and man, I was working good. I was, I was, where well, I was getting that overtime. Nah, I'm not. If you in that type of spirit, man, you just said you're not cut for this. You're not cut with the cloth that you need. You got some of that? Okay. Give that real quick. That's my last one. Okay. Uh, this is the book of 2 Timothy chapter uh, 4 and verse 7. I have fought a good fight. 
<laughs> I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. All right. We gotta uh we gotta stay in the fight, man, to the uh end. All right. You gotta keep punching. You gotta uh fight through the punches, as the brother Ariar told me. Uh verse eight. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord Yahweh Shai, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto them also that love his appearing. All right. And even Esther saw that saw this happen. Okay, he gave an account of this. But like it says, you gotta we gotta fight the good fight, man. We gotta stay in there, we gotta keep the faith through it all. No matter what, all right? Because once you fall off this thing, it's over with. You only get one shot, all right? And I've been seeing brothers uh, lately with titles called You Only Get One Shot, you know? Okay. Uh, as you got this, Second Edges chapter uh, 5 and 44. And it's showing you how bad Edges wanted it. And all the, all the, the true prophets, because those are the ones that's back today, that's doing this work, that's going to stick around. And that uh, death do them part, all right? That there is going to stay until the Lord closes the curtains on this bitch. But it shows you how bad Edris truly wanted to get out of that. He wanted to see something better for the nation. He was sick and tired of being a slave under the damn heathen, uh, of dwelling in sin, of our people going off. All right, Second Edris 5 and 44. Then answered he, he me and said, The creature may not haste above the maker, neither may the world hold them at once. That shall be created in, uh, created there therein. So he was basically trying to rush the Lord, uh, rush the Lord. So the angel was telling him, "You got to slow down. Everything has to be done in proper time." All right, verse forty-six. And he said unto me, "Ask the womb of a woman, and say unto her, If thou bringest forth children, why dost thou not together, but one after another? Pray her therefore to bring forth ten children at once." And I said, "She cannot, but must do it by distance of time." Then said he unto me. Even so have I given the womb of the earth to those that be sown in it in their times. So everything had to happen according to the times. But we're, we are in those times. We're in the times of that sowing. All right. Of that Matthew 24. When it said uh, earthquakes, rumors of wars. All right. Uh, second measure was at, uh, I would say, 15 or 16. There will be sedition among men. We're in those times. Hold it down. We're here now. We 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 are living in what you read about. You got some else? Uh, no. Okay, kind of. Well, you know that's that's it. You know, we, everything that we're reading about, this is literally our daily life now. So there, it makes no sense to fall out. Hang, do what you got to do. If you got to stay in the house more, stay in the house. If you got to read more, read more. If you got to fucking, if you got to cut back on shit, so stop buying this bullshit. Stop. So you can stay focused on in, in this word, then do what you gotta do to hold on because this is we're 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 actually so close, like the you can get the last ones, our salvation is nearer than we believe. Kind of pray if, more fast more. Kind of. If we actually knew the day that shit was about to pop, we we would probably I mean, we I start crying shit. But we we would probably start laughing to think, dang, I'm sitting here stressing about this punk ass bill. I'm thinking about this bitch, and we, here it is, we finna get out and so and so soon. All right, you got it, all right? Come. This is the book of Romans, chapter 13, and verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Yep, stop bullshit and get out of that nigga mentality. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Come. You know, as simple as that. Our yeah. salvation is nearly. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if we actually knew, if we, if we actually knew, man, we'd be we'd be happy. We, Geeked up, bro. Yeah, we'd be going around talking shit to everybody yeah. at work. Man, oh, oh, oh. But <laughs> hey, <it's>, <laughs> we <laughs> we'd be talking smack to everybody. But it's not for us to know right now. So it's right. That's right. You know, but we hope this is another edifying lesson. All right, maintain the faith. Because in, in your patience possesses your uh, souls. Alright, so with that, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechach Kodash. The honors to the apostles, and those great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all like Akim, walk, walk, learning, teaching, and truth, and sincerity. That we will say Shalom. Shalom.